Good day, this is Smartiness Design Essential Training for Revit 2023. So in this training we are going to create a reusable gate, simple one that you can use in your project. This is a family template project because the moment you create it finish, you are going to load it to existing template and make use of it. So let's start. So we we'll just go to elevation, clicking this clip front. This is where we are going to draw our gates, our stance. So the, what you need to do is to make use of a sweep and what's an extrusion. So we probably maybe use sweep throughout to create whatsoever we want to create. So follow through step by step on how we do it so the first to do is to create a reference now you have a reference line when you go to land so now all we just need to do is to know the name of the label of those species reference so let's say this is left slides this is a center and back reference line now go back to to your elevation then draw create say create sweep so create sketch when you're clicking your sketch then you draw around want to use a no don't let us use this first let's start with normal line so that we get the uh, dimension right what is the size of gate 360? Out of 360, that is 180. So let's use 17. Okay. So for me now, what we do next is to create arc. Good. So you create the next arc. For me, at this point. So three. Good. So, do this first pattern to which the gate will follow. When you click finish, so click edit profile. From any angle that you send it to you, do it. So, now, just circle around. Okay. You can remove the thickness of the line by toggle this uh, thick line. So, as you've done that, click again so that you specify normal size and I just want to use something like okay 20 because I don't want it to be too big 20 mm that's a 40 radius so click now say finish so when you go to the front elevation you see the weight form so this is not the end of what we are doing the next thing is that you can copy this one now and copy it down. So copy it, select, so you copy from here, copy it to, to below. So copy it again from this edge to this edge. Now I want to edit this particular one. I don't want, I just want it this normal straight line stuff. So click edit, edit parts because the parts. I want to edit now. So edit the parts, delete this. So extend this to, to where you find this guys. So when you do that, say finish. Finish it. So move this up. Press your the upper up arrow on your keyboard. Now you can now rotate this particular one. So rotate. Click on copy. Rotate it to vertical. So as you've done, move it. Okay. Move it a bit. Yeah. And you can do the same thing here. Copy again. Move it. So you can reduce this one. I see edit edit parts. ok 
okay say finish now so you copy this one you copy it it's a copy multiple so from here put it here continue So are you saying that you're having your gates now what needs what next to do is that any kind of design you want to do here you can do it and if you don't have any design to do leave it that way so now see this one sideways enough okay as you've done that now copy move everything towards the center okay now the next thing to do is that we draw the you draw the gaze standing so you, you give the base to so you click on rectangle from extrusion and you click something like this say finish when you come to pick this up so you can up you can duplicate this one as well so copy remove constraint just say one press enter so yeah remove it so edit open anyway now you you offset it like something like 10 okay let's use 25 okay now remove copy you don't want it to be located i just want uh, are you okay Click finished. Go back to your front elevation. You just see a little bit of design on it. So now, what you need to do: copy this, and say mirror, mirror with copy. Sorry. Nice. So here now, you can now move it close. That way, like one. Do the same thing to this guy press so that is how you do your gates so when you look at it from 3d view click on normal home 3d can you see so this is the gate if you want to assign material you can assign your material if you want to do whatever you need to do there you can do it so you've created a simple gate in words in Revit. so you can upload them to your project by clicking upload any affiliate project is going to just click on upload any affiliate project it will be uploaded there and you will make use of it in whatsoever so save it and let's say save anywhere you save it to that is how to do so in the next lesson we are going to talk about something tangible make sure you keep updates please like especially you subscribe to our channel